Hi Taurus, this is Aqua Goddess. I hope you guys are doing amazing. I'm here to give you a general energy reading. Please keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future, and it may or may not resonate with you. Also, roles can be reversed, so put yourself where you may fit. If you're new to my channel, welcome and thank you for being here. Please join our family. We would absolutely love to have you be a part of the Mermaid Palace Tarot family. Make sure you hit that notification bell to be notified for your future videos. And if you guys are returning, you already know I love you. And thank you so much for all your love and support. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides most high. Please protect me, my collective, our families as I channel these messages for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Please return all evil negative energy back to sender, 25 billion fold. And for anyone out there showing me love, I'm sending much love and light to you. Happy Father's Day for all my wonderful, amazing fathers. If you celebrate holidays, happy Father's Day every day uh, for you loyal, genuine, caring fathers. All right. So, Spirit, what are the messages that we got for Tauruses today? What are the messages that we got for Taurus? You got a gift. Um, so some of you guys will be getting gifts today from your daughter or your son. Um, this could be Father's Day gifts. Um, some of you guys are just honestly looking back on the day that you became a father or a mother. And just, just looking at this situation like, dang, that's mine. You know, I did that. Some of you guys are born on May 18th or uh, May 17th here. I see courtship. Uh, so some of you guys are getting a gift from your partner. Um, somebody that you are dating right now. You may be uh, going out on dates with this individual. Somebody feels like you're a gift from God. Yeah, you got lovers here. Um, so definitely, you guys definitely may be loving someone, dating someone. Someone's thinking about you, buying you something nice. Some of you guys have children that live at a distance um, that may be coming to see you today. Um, for others of you, I feel like someone is someone that you're dating. Um, this person has a lot of feelings for you. They may want to have a child with you. Some of you guys may be finding out that you're pregnant. Uh, this could potentially be a long distance relationship for some of you guys, or um, you just haven't talked to this person in a while, is what I'm seeing here. Okay. So tell me about the person on Taurus's mind and how they're currently feeling about them at the time. Tell me about the person on Taurus's mind. And how they're currently feeling about them at this time. I can't talk to you right now. Somebody's indulgent into drugs and alcohol because they feel like they can't talk to you right now. This is somebody that you may have used to date. You guys used to go out on dates. They, they have a lot of feelings for you. Um, they want to see you um, for whoever I'm channeling for. You are too nice. I don't deserve your kindness. Uh, so, uh, this person feels like you've been very good to them. You treated them very well. But they're needing to figure themselves out. Um, they could definitely have been stringing you along. Hmm. So, why did this person start courting my Tauruses and then... Why did they disconnect? Why did this person disconnect from Taurus? I feel lonely. This person may... It could have been a lot of distance in this relationship. You guys may have went out a lot in the beginning and then all of a sudden inconsistency. Uh, so they, they decided to shut off. 
they need to hold back their true feelings. Um, so it's like you may have shut off because this person was inconsistent. Um, you felt like they weren't prioritizing you like they used to. And you felt like you needed to hold back your true feelings because they didn't deserve your energy, your kindness. You didn't feel like it was being reciprocated. Okay. So tell me, um, what do I need to know uh, in regards to this energy for Taurus? Let's start over. Somebody wants to start over now. Someone that you're not talking to. Someone that's been distant with you. Um, this person's obsessed with this relationship, this connection with you. They're obsessed with hate from you um, is what I'm seeing. Especially you masculine energy. Um, wow. Uh, they're saying I'm blocky uh, for whoever this particular individual is. Um, this is not someone that you used to work with. I don't feel like you ever worked with this person. Uh, this person is, they're into aggressive sex. So they feel like if you're mad at them, why don't you take that anger out in the bedroom? Um, this person feels like you challenged them. Um, they feel like it would be easier if you just took out your frustration in the bedroom. So this person just wants their cake and eat it too, huh? Um, yeah, so this is the energy that I'm getting. Um, so this person is feeling like you're, you're challenging them right now. Oh, you got the teacher. You didn't coach this damn person. So this person then got tourist. You already know what that means if you watch my channel. If you don't catch up, somebody got tourist. <laughs> and they're hoping that you noticed that they got tourist. You're a great teacher. I don't know. You challenged this person. Wow, you had me at hello. Oh, damn. So this person is like, you had them since the time you guys talked. Since the time they first said hello to you, you had them. So this is somebody where you felt that chemistry the first time you guys ever talked to each other, period. This is that particular individual. Something's hidden. The fact that they're obsessed with you is hidden. They want to argue with you because they want sex. That's another thing about this person. They want to argue with you because they want you to take your frustration out on them in the bedroom. Uh, this person is they are waiting for things to change. It says, I keep waiting for things to change. I feel like this is your energy as well. Um, you were waiting for things to change because you were tired of being patient. You, you started losing hope in this situation. This person wants to argue and they want you to the they want you to handle them a certain type of way. You could be dealing with the fire sign Aries Leo Sag energy. Some of you guys water sign Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This person um like they really I feel like have you in your head because it's like every time you talk to them it's like you you can't get your point across. This person either interrupts you when you're speaking to them or they tell you how they feel, how you feel. Um, let's get drunk. And, this person wants to get drunk and smash. So they, they feel like, oh, they miss you so mad, so bad. They mad. They miss you so bad. There's a confession here I see coming. This person, it, it could be an Aries Leo Sag. They want you to keep the doors unlocked for them. They want you to open your heart, your space, your energy up to them. Period. All right. So, <laughs> tell me, spirit, um, what is on this person's mind? Why are they so, I feel like this person, for a lot of you guys, um, this particular person is coming off as somebody that's very sexually frustrated at this time. Um, this person is desiring you in the worst way. Um, <laughs> um, definitely wanting to get into your energy. All right. So, Spirit, tell me um, what is it that this person is desiring when it comes to Taurus? What is it that this person is a, a desiring when it comes to Taurus? I'm hearing multiple orgasms. Damn, this person's in their feelings, in their head, in their thoughts. 
when it comes to Oh, somebody is definitely um, reminiscing about you moaning. Um, I'm telling you, somebody is reminiscing about that when it comes to you. Good sex. Definitely great sex with this individual. Um, no question about it. This person is yearning for you. Drunk night. They're reminiscing about a night that you guys got drunk and you literally... It's like a specific type of way you handle this person, Taurus, that has them daydreaming about you. Okay. And to wow things, whoever this person is, they're a freak and you like it. You feel like this is the perfect type of freak for you. Um, you could be having wild thoughts in regards to this person. You could be scared that they're actually seeing somebody else or they're scared that you're seeing somebody else. Um, if they are seeing somebody, which I don't see that they are, um, they could be disassociated during sex. Um, definitely still thinking about you. I do feel like this person here is it's like a once in a lifetime, one in a million type of love is what I'm seeing, the chemistry between you guys. So what happened here? Um so what happened here with Taurus and this person? Somebody fell in love and the other person may have had a family. I don't know. Too guarded. Somebody was too guarded um, over their energy. And it's like they may have not opened up. So I see the, the connection ending, but it's like you guys are reconnecting. Okay. Um, so what is this reconnecting energy? A fresh start. Somebody wanted to start over. I'm saying somebody wanted to start over. Because they miss you. They miss you um, so bad. This person wants to see you. They're thinking about you. They're having memories. They're disappointed that this didn't go as planned. Um, they really wanted to get their way. <laughs> So this person's waiting on you. They're trying to manifest you back into their energy. I feel like you're taking too long. So this person may be taking some, some sort of action towards you. Because they love you. This person loves you. Alright. So what is <laughs> what is this person's next action source source? What is this person's next action source source? They're walking away. They feel like... The situation went crazy and it's like they're single right now trying to work on themselves or doing a lot of work here um they felt like they had a lack of clarity in regards to how the situation was going to play out but damn i see the ace of cuts um so this person is still feeling this this love for you so what are they going to do with this love for tourists how are they going to handle this too many how are they going to handle this? Okay, I see they're going to make it right with the Justice card. And the Empress, damn. They going to make it right with you, Taurus. For some of you guys, you may be getting pregnant after this reconciliation. Please be careful. Um, I see this energy. Yeah, because you, you guys are healing things. You're letting go of whatever it is that was heavy in this relationship. You're not arguing or fighting anymore. You're having a fresh start. Leo energy could be with a Leo um, here. I'm seeing this person coming back. And I see somebody getting knocked up. I got to be 100% honest with you. So I don't know. I feel like you guys are going to be having some crazy makeup sex. And it's going to be a baby. Okay. Um, is what I'm seeing here. Um, if this is not a physical childbirth, there could be just some new ideas, some growth in this connection, um, taking this connection to the next level. Angel number 27, I am expressive. Your mind is wide open and you are tolerant and compassionate towards all ways of life. You value freedom of expression and want to improve the conditions of people whether in your community, country, or world at large. I am expressive. 
So I feel like somebody can't talk to you right now. It ain't got nothing to do with another person. Um, it's it's about them working. They could be in the public eye with the Six of Wands energy and this um, wanting to improve the conditions of people, community, country, or world. Um, so I feel like you're dealing with somebody in the public eye. This person definitely may get lit a lot, um, but they handle their business is what I'm saying here. Um, now, this person is coming back towards you. They're coming back towards you. Um, they're avoiding. You guys are not arguing. I feel like you guys, there's a mutual energy of you both wanting to make things right here. And I see unconditional love. I see pregnancy here. All right. So um, tell me what is it that's bringing this person back towards Taurus? Uh, what is it that's bringing it, this person back towards Taurus? So one thing that I'm seeing here <clears throat> Somebody got clarity in regards to you It's like they see you moving away from the drama Like I feel like you got a person that pick fights Just because they want you to have aggressive sex with them This is what I'm really picking up though in real life For some of you guys but it's like you just move away from the drama, right? And it's like a situation where, like, this person, I think both of you guys, but I, this person definitely wants better days to come with you guys. Because there was some type of cheating back in the, I'm seeing that happen in this situation. There was some type of cheating. Somebody got their heart broke. Could be a Leo. Or you. Could be a Leo involved here. But I see this person wanting to make some type of plans here. Um, they're going through a very dark time. This person really low-key depressed. And they are feeling like you are super free right now. And they want you. You're the person they want. You're the empress here. All right, so it's like they're manifesting you back in their life, but they got clarity that they they want you. That you're the person that they want. Now, what is this Empress energy? Ace of Swords. That's the truth. The Empress energy is that this person with this Sun card could be a Leo. They got a new idea that they're going to. You guys are about to get pregnant. I'm sorry. I see this. Somebody's about to get pregnant. Somebody has an idea that that's a good way to keep you. To keep you? Like. What is this? Why is this pregnancy energy here? Look. Control. <laughs> Emperor card here. Fatherhood. Structure. Somebody feels like. It's crazy. Somebody feel like you, you betrayed them with some one-sided energy. Maybe you just emotionally shut off or something. But I feel like you guys are fighting a lot. And it's like they want a fresh start. They know they love you. They want to work on things. But this person wants to have a certain level of control over this situation that they feel like a child would give them. This is what I'm saying here. For you guys um, on your reading. So please be careful because this is the energy that I'm strongly most have like picking up the heaviest here. Like seriously. Alright. And I hear loud birds chirping out here. Yeah. Yeah, those birds. It's a bird in my window talking to me. Oh my gosh. Hold on, guys. <laughs> I 
Okay. Um, I'm sorry. Hold on. You have action. You have action. Drop all fear and just do it. Wow. Drop all fear and just do it. You have the power to create and be whatever you truly want. Look inside your heart and take positive action in those things that bring you closer to achieving your desired goals. Nothing can stop you except your own fears. This card is a positive confirmation from God and the angels that the time is right for you to start a new and exciting venture. All right. So guys, those are the messages that I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you like this reading, if it resonates with your story, please show me some love and thumbs up this video. Also subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you guys soon. Much love and light. Peace.